Welcome to Birmingham Central Mosque. My name is Muhammad Ali and I'll be your faith guide today. After the Regent Park Mosque in London, this was the second purpose-built mosque in UK. And as it was a purpose-built, so we had to have domes and minarets. These are symbolic things for mosques. So people who have never been to a mosque, they identify this building as an Islamic place of worship. This is the men's entrance. We have got separate rooms for ladies. And this is the place where we have to take your shoes off because of, you know, respect of place of worship. The word Islam is from an Arabic word, Salama, which stands for peace. So the word itself stands for peace. And people who follow Islam are known as Muslims. Muslims have three basic beliefs. Number one, to believe in oneness of God, to believe in Allah, which is an Arabic word for God, to believe in all prophets of God, from Prophet Adam to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and to believe in the uh, hereafter or the day of judgment. Right, now we are going into the wudu area, that's the washing area. Before we offer our prayers, Muslims have to do the wash. So we wash our hands, we rinse our mouth, wash our face, and at the end we wash our feet. And it's done normally three times just to make sure that all parts of the skin are fully wet before we offer our prayers. We are in the prayer hall now, main prayer hall, and this is the largest room in this mosque. Let me tell you a bit about the mosque history. Actually, Birmingham Central Mosque is one of the largest mosques in Western Europe. The land for this mosque was purchased in 1964. We had to raise some funds and then the mosque was constructed and it was open to the public in the early 70s. I was taken on board in 1973. I was not asking 70,000 pounds at that time because that was the estimate. I asked only for six pounds per year per head. And we started putting the newspaper every week how much was collected. So these total efforts created a psychological atmosphere that something was happening. And by the grace of God, we promised to build it in two years' time, we finish it in two years' time. If you look around, this mosque is very simple, very basic. If you look interior of the mosque, you can't find any images, any sculptures, any idols, because Muslims don't worship any of these. In our prayers, we simply recite from the holy book. That's why you can't see any images of any human beings or animals in this mosque. Also, one of the main features of the mosque is a special patterns on the carpet. When Muslims enter the mosque, they always face towards one particular direction, and that is towards Makkah. The house of God is situated in Mecca, and that's known as Kawa. So when people enter, they stand on this carpet facing towards this particular direction. Muslims have five daily obligatory prayers, and they are at different times of the day. Before each prayer, we have to give a call to the prayer, which is a kind of reminder telling people, come to the mosque, it's time to pray. The call to the prayer is always in Arabic language and that is a universal language for Muslims all over the world, so people know what is being said in that. Uh, it starts with saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, which means God is greatest, God is the greatest. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, which means I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. The main difference between Islam and other religions is prayers. It's five times a day, every day, commitment to remember your Lord, and offer your prayers on time. This is the most important part of the mosque. This wall is known as Qibla wall. When people come, they start making their rows from this part, and our Imam, the person who leads the prayers, he stands here. So that's his prayer mat. During the prayers, he stands on this prayer mat, facing towards this direction, and leads the prayers. We also have five basic duties which are also known as five pillars of Islam to follow. Starting from Shahada, which is the declaration of Muslim faith. And I will 
state it for you in Arabic language, it says, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The second pillar of Islam is prayers. It is obligatory upon all Muslims to pray five times a day, and most of the time they come to the mosque, but it's not compulsory. If they can't attend the mosque, they can pray wherever they are. The third pillar of Islam is uh, fasting in the month of Ramadan. So in a year, we have got a month called Ramadan, and for the whole month, for 30 days, Muslims fast, which means they don't eat, they don't drink during the daytime. The fourth pillar of Islam is called Zakah, which is uh, giving charity to the needy and poor people. So every year, Muslims give about 2.5% of their wealth to the needy and poor people. The final uh, pillar of Islam is the gathering of pilgrimage in the holy city of Mecca. Most mosques doors are open for both men and women. So this is the ladies gallery and women's gallery in this mosque. It can accommodate easily about 1500 uh, women. We've got actually two rooms, this room and room next door. And mostly women come to the mosque for prayers. As part of our faith, uh, Muslims not only believe in the Holy Quran, but we also believe in the Holy Torah, the Holy Bible, and other uh, scriptures which were given to other prophets of God. But we consider the Holy Quran to be the final word of God. Unlike other books, it starts from the right. This book is in Arabic language, but for people who can't understand Arabic, it has been translated in many languages of the world, including English, French, German, Persian, and many Asian languages. It's got 30 chapters. And we have people uh, who can memorize the whole book. And in the month of Ramadan, we have special prayers at night. And they recite uh, this holy book throughout the month, one chapter every night, without looking into the book. Islam is against all kind of extremism and terrorism. It is mentioned at numerous places in the Holy Quran and also sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It is believed that if you kill an innocent person as you've killed the whole humanity, we condemn such act of extremism and terrorism uh, wherever in the world. Okay, this is the visitor's discussion room. Uh, visitors come into this room and have a question as a session. Here we have Mr. Hassan, who is responsible for this room. This is a project room where we cater for the visitors of all ages, from university, from primary school, secondary schools. We explain to them the fundamentals of Islam. And any question they ask, which is very important that uh, we welcome all sort of questions. This is our supplementary school. This school is run every day except weekends from 5 to 7. When we come to Madrasa, we, we learn about um, the meanings of the Quran and we pray and the teachers learn about, they tell us about the um, the meanings of the Quran. We come every weekday after school from 5 till 7 except Ramadan when we're all fasting. When it's events, for example, Eid or like it's uh, good events, we have a party in our mosque, like everybody gathers together and we bring the best things like food and drinks and all that. We bring them in and then we all have a big feast together and after that when we're all full, we sit down for a bit and then we'll go to the prayer hall and then we play over there. Birmingham Central Mosque is the only mosque in Birmingham which is authorized by the registrar office. And we not only perform the Islamic marriages, which is nikah, but also the civil marriages combined with that together. And this room is used for conducting these special ceremonies here. Actually, in this mosque, we cater for people who come with any kind of special need. So on Fridays, our English uh, you know, sermon and also our Arabic you know, sermons are uh, translated in British Sign Language. I believe that, that is, this is the only mosque in the whole UK which provides or which has got this kind of provision here. On average, about 10,000 non-Muslim visitors visit this mosque, and most of the time they want to observe one of the prayers here. So we've got a dedicated gallery. This is the visitor's gallery where they can sit and see through this glass and they can observe the prayers in the main prayer hall downstairs. So this room is always open uh, 365 days a year, all days, and anybody can walk in any time. They don't need any appointment. They can come here and observe any prayers in this mosque.
It is really good to see you today here at the mosque. Islam for me, it is not just showing around the mosque or the building, but it's a complete way of life, a life full of spirituality, discipline, and Islam shows me the right path towards my Creator, my Lord, my Allah. Once again, I thank you for coming here. Fi Allah. Goodbye and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.